Hey guys and welcome, today's video is on the plugin group manager so basically just install the file and then close down your server and then basically you do it all from the config global groups is the main file that you'll edit you've also got config and also in the worlds file your default world is where you'll change everything as well which is spawn for me so I'll quickly just go on to the files, we'll look at global groups first so basically you'll just have a default file, I've changed all mine so groups user, this is what I've made but basically these can be called anything, they don't have to be the name of a group and then I've just put all the default commands that I want default people to have and this is under user stone user, basically I've just named mine associated to the user groups because then it's easier but you could do it per user and stuff like that if you wish so I've just got a whole list here of different user commands for different levels of class or people then you go into the config and this is basically the world setup so you can do all the things like auto saving and backups but what you want is this mirrors you want all your worlds in this so spawn is my default world so basically all the settings I will put in the spawn world and then all the other worlds so world never world end arena paintball stuff like that are all got dash users and dash groups which means it mirrors the users and the groups for the spawn world so if I didn't have groups in it would mean that basically it'd have its individual group file so then I've just gone into my folder for spawn and this is the groups file for it so as you can see the groups are user, stone user, iron user so you can actually have different users per world so you've got default to true then you can have permissions obviously you can add individual ones if you wish but it's easiest just to do it with the inheritance dash g for group and then the name of the group so I've just named it user obviously so it's easier to find so it associates with this one so then default user gets all these commands and permission nodes and then obviously the prefix I've set mine just to say you but you can type anything in there or not have one at all you could just do it with a color code so basically that user has a color in the name and then as you can see I've got stone user and it inherits user which is the group above and then also it inherits the group stone user so it'll inherit all the commands user gets plus stone user groups and basically I've configured it like that for all the different groups iron user, gold user, diamond user so there's a list of these all down here and they all inherit from each other so as you can see default here this is obviously the owner file which is vault and you've got the star which means you've got all the permissions so now I'll quickly go into the spawn world as you can see the user file and in the user file you've got the players that have logged in on the server and you can actually change the names and actually put them in a group so this is if you wanted to edit things for a single user you could actually add a permission just for one user like this so I'll actually just show you the simple in-game command there's only one that you'll really need to know and that's how to change a user group so as you can see this is my server I've got all the different user groups on the wall people can click and find information about them but basically they're the six user groups I've set up all you do is slash man you add player name and then the name of the group so I've obviously been changed to diamond user if I talk you can see I've got the D in front of my name if I change to a different group so if I just change to user you see I just get the word user in front of me with the well the white U and then if I change to my admin group which is vault you'll see that it will say owner in front of it there will be a download in the description below and as always guys please remember to rate, subscribe and comment cheers